Hello, Gary Hernandez here and welcome to Kane Self-Defense of Mastery, Gary Hernandez. In this video, I'm gonna showcase a couple of canes from DNR Woodworks. Don Yatsar was very nice enough to send me down four beautiful canes, but I'm gonna go ahead and showcase two now and I'll do two in a later video. If you're not familiar who DNR Woodworks is, they're up in the New York area and they're the ones that, when I came up with the design for the Gray Man Safety Cane, which has the built-in glass breaker in case you need to exit your vehicle is down here in Florida where three quarters covered by water there's a lot of lakes and rivers the ones that took my drawing and my design and brought it to life so they've made the gray man safety cane again with the glass breaker that removes and goes back in and locks in they also made that in black so here you same thing Pull it out, get through your window, goes right back built into the cane, locks in and stays in when you need it. Just pull it out and you have a quick handy glass breaker. I uh, don't mind these, this is just a personal thing they did for me with my challenge coins. But the Gray Man cane comes in either black finish or the regular wood finish. Well, Don went ahead and sent me down some other canes to go ahead and have and showcase and he made them for my size and these are some beautiful canes. So I'm going to kind of go over these, these two right here. Now these canes are a lot lighter because the Gray Man, original Gray Man is three pounds. It's a very sturdy heavy cane. Now if you want a lighter cane yet still strong enough to take care of yourself and your walking around or also when someone's attacking you this cane's gonna do the trick this one right here and I'm gonna read a little bit of paper because I got all four canes down I want to make sure I got the right information now this one is the hickory now all four canes the two you're gonna see now and the two you're gonna see in another video are all derby style handles and I'll explain what's really good about the derby style handle in just a minute for those of you that have maybe never seen these videos I've done before now this cane right here, like I said, is hickory. It's a beautiful, nice finish. It's very strong. Hickory is pretty strong, comes in, nice solid hit. And this cane is a inch and, and a one and one eighth diameter. And it weighs, this one here is a pound and five ounces. So this one right here, not too heavy at all. It's very, light enough to pick up light enough to swing strong enough to stand up what you gotta use it for whether you're walking or defending yourself now the derby style handle what's good about these and on the gray man i had it designed a lot bigger in certain areas for a reason but on this one right here this one's a little more narrower but yet and this is my terminology this is not what they're called i like to call this end of the derby style the hammer and I like to call this end the chisel because you can use them to a similar um, fashion if you're defending yourself. This cane besides being a great long range defensive tool whichever end you're swinging also can be used in close. So the reason I call this thing the hammer is when someone's reaching for me I can hammer right down whether it's a long range hammering or I'm in close hammer down on those knuckles obviously i could hit somebody in the head but this kind of a cane i have a strong possibility of killing them with this but i guess what i can break that collarbone they're gonna have a bad day so with the part i like to call the hammer i pinch those knees lower plex collarbone hit that hand with the other end i like to call the chisel because it's a lot more sharper end and that right there is gonna do some serious damage if someone's trying to hurt me or my loved ones. Again, I can catch that collarbone. This thing is so small and concentrated, I'm just gonna isolate it right in that bone area. It's gonna break that collarbone. Catch that knee, catch those groin, get that solar plex. Obviously, my life is on the line, there is the head. So, with either end, you're gonna definitely be able to defend yourself. What I like about the Derby King is the configuration right here. 
because it fits perfectly. And I've said this probably a hundred times in the past, but I'm a big fan of catching somebody trying to hurt me right in that windpipe. Now, I don't have to hit them super hard to collapse that throat. I just got to hit them good enough to make them go, ah, gag where they can't breathe. Because <clears throat> if they can't breathe, they can't fight. Catch them right here. <clears throat> right in that trachea. I don't have to hit them super hard. Just enough to get them off me. It fits perfectly. You can also catch that shoulder blade area. I can catch that knee. I can catch them right in the ribs. It's going to hurt. So this hickory came besides being beautiful and strong, it's still pretty light and extremely durable. Now this one goes for $80. And I'll have Don's information in below in this video. Next cane I want to show you. This one's octagonal. And this one here is a lighter cane. This one's made out of cherry, yet it's still strong. I've been beating and beating and because I was working out today with these things. This cherry wood is extremely strong, but it's like this one comes in weighing at a pound and one ounce. That's it. Same thing, it's an inch and one eighth diameter octagonal. So you have those little ridges, which are going to hurt when they catch somebody. But yet, it's still beautiful. Look at the finish. Very beautiful finish on this. Again, derby style handle, what I like to call my hammer and my chisel. This cane is extremely light, especially for ladies. If you don't want a heavier cane, even guys, you don't want a heavier cane. This is cane is, and I weigh, I weigh 230. It supports my weight with no problem. It's strong enough to hold me when I'm walking, fast enough to pick up, light enough to pick up and swing this to defend myself. Same thing, <clears throat> throat, hammer, chisel, straight shot to the throat. <clears throat> so this cane right here, besides being beautiful, and it does not look dangerous. <clears throat> Neither one of these canes scream, I'm gonna hurt you. They really don't. They're both beautiful work of arts, so no matter how you're carrying them. Again, this one here is only a, the cherry is only a pound and one ounce. Light, fast, durable, and beautiful. And you can have the diameters to whatever size you want with Don and the length, obviously, to your needs. Now, I told you the hickory went for 80. The cherry goes for 85. But again, I have the information. If you're interested, contact Don and he'll give you more information about his beautiful canes. I have two other ones I'll be going over with. The, ones, uh, these are, the next two I'm going to talk about in the next video are heavier canes, um, exotic woods, but they definitely are beautiful canes. I'll be showing those very soon. Again, if you're interested in a nice derby style handle and a lot of people even though you recognize the horn so much the derby style besides being elegant and beautiful still has <clears throat> a lot of the self-defense capabilities that you can do with this as you would a regular cane you still can hook somebody by the neck granted it's not a big horn but you can hook somebody and still pull them in you can hook somebody's wrist and arm and pull it down. So when you're manipulating a body part, it does fit perfectly in that wrist to turn. If I catch that arm, it fits and it will move that body. Catch the neck. If they have a huge neck, it might slip off, but it's still gonna turn around. I mean, when you slam it into them and hook them, you're gonna pull them into them. So it's definitely has the ability to pull, the ability to strike, and the main ability of it is mobility and to look beautiful, yet very functional. So check out Don's Canes. Give him a call. I'd be glad to talk to you about anything you're interested in. 
DNR Woodworks, and I'll have their information below. Gary Hernandez, thank you, and I will see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye.